Hey guys, so I know many of you have already known that the this year's 2022 Marvel Masterpieces is released and I was crazy enough to buy one box. Now, uh, I can say that uh, what it cost was uh, basically $1,000 Canadian. Uh, it's not cheap. Uh, honestly, uh, right out the bat, I, have, I would uh, throw caution to the average collector that this may not be the most financially sound decision to buy something like this, but that's not to say that this set is not doesn't have any cool hits because it certainly does. So I am very happy to open a box and see what is inside. So let's just get started. Uh, so it does contain uh, 12 packs per box, three cards per pack. Uh, a case I think is 12 boxes per case. Uh, so obviously we're going to be looking for sketch cards. Uh, Metallurgy cards number 25, Canvas Gallery, um, as well as, uh, what else was I going to say, uh, autograph cards from Dos Santos. So let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, again, in Canada, this is like about a thousand dollar minimum product, depending uh, where you get it. Now, I was heavily debating, but because I was really looking forward to this. I felt like this, for the price, probably uh, would be worth it more than if I were to get a box of Metal Universe Spider-Man. So, let's go ahead and cut it open. Oh, you have no idea. I'm like shaking with nervousness and, uh, and uh, excitement. So, there's 12 packs. The pack art is Black Hat. Uh, what's interesting is that the artwork for Black Cat on the packs and the box itself is this direction, but when you pull the card, it's actually, I think they flip it. I think, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. But okay, so let's just get started. Uh, I can't wait to see what's inside. Now, I know uh, the configuration from what I've seen is the last card is usually gold uh, printed uh, signature card. And then the middle slot is like tier three or four parallel, or it can also be um, the hit or a special insert. So let's see what we get. Let's get started. Well, this is the first time I'm actually very nervous about opening a product. Uh, okay, so let's start. Uh, first, we have Havoc. Uh, and Havoc is a tier one base, number to 19. 1999 or 1999 F187. Okay. Oh, and we already have our first epic purple parallel of cable. Uh, this is number to 199. So it's 146 of 199. So I've seen some boxes that have like crazy hits that can have like multiple epic purples or even like three legendary oranges. Uh, so let's put that to the side. And our last card in the first pack is a gold SIG Juggernaut. Uh, I can't remember what tier this is. Uh, there is very few tier 4s from what I recall. Uh, one of them being Captain America and that artwork for the base is quite nice from what I've seen. Uh, so let's keep going. Alright, next pack we have our first so we have our first, uh, they used to be called What If, but I don't know if they're still called that. So this is of, I believe, Blink, right? I could be wrong. Hold on, let's see. Uh, yep, so that's Blink, uh, tier 2, 14, uh, 1097 of 1499. All the artwork is quite nice from DeSantos. Uh, and our next is a Black Panther, I think. I think this is tier three. Yeah, this is tier three base, uh, 149 of 999. So that's really cool. And then the last one is a gold sig of Hulk. The gold sigs actually look pretty nice. The only thing I have slight gripe, it's very slight, is that the printed Marvel masterpieces at the bottom of each card. I prefer like the classic where they have like the logo in the upper left or upper right. Uh, so gold signature series, Hulk. All right, 
Now I know some hits are uh, come in uh, sleeves, so if we get a sleeve, it can be a sketch, it can be a metallurgy. Uh, I don't know what else comes in sleeves, but we'll see. Oh, preserved amber as well, yes. Okay, so next pack we have uh, Man Thing, which is uh, tier 1, 1261 of 1999. And our next card is, oh, there's our battle spectrum of the box. These, I think, are one per box. Uh, you can get a battle spectrum gem, but uh, it may not be easy to get. Uh, so this one's of Doctor Strange versus Dormammu. Uh, these are not numbered. But again, very cool. Okay, and then our last card is a Gold Sig Mojo. This is the first time I've seen, in terms of collecting Marvel cards, this is the first time I've seen Mojo on card form, so that's actually really cool. Alright. Oh, this feels a little thinner than the previous packs. Uh, I'm just give me one second. I don't want my camera to cut out. Just realize that battery is very low. That would be the worst thing to happen. So I do apologize. Uh, okay, let me just plug this in. There we go. Okay. So that's probably better. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, back to this. Okay, oh, there is a sleeved card. Uh, if it is thinner, I, I believe that this is most likely a metallurgy. Um, so we have base Shatterstar. Uh, and then behind that we have, okay, have a gold electro. Card number five, so that's most likely tier one. Okay, and behind, okay, let's see what the metallurgy card is. Oh, it's Dormammu, number 25. That's really cool. So it does come pre sleeved. Uh, that is really cool. That is one of my more, um, I do favorite Dormammu a little more than other some of the other villains. That's one of my favorite ones. The artwork is really nice. So that's really cool. It's one of our major hits from the box, and Shatterstar is a tier 2, uh, 8, 10, of oh, 14, 99. So that's really cool. That's... Oh, I feel like I'm already out of breath just now. Uh, okay, okay. Alright. Okay, so next pack we have Domino. Uh, let's see, this is tier, tier 1. 1738 of 1999. Uh, then we have a. Oh, what is this? Why is this upside down? So it's a dupe. What if? Uh, that's interesting. Uh, it is a tier uh, tier two, from what I remember, because the uh, they call these variant covers now, but they used to be called what is on the previous set. Uh, so. Uh, they are, I think they were like 500 lower than the base, so 14.99 is tier one, and 99, 9.99 is uh, tier two. So that's cool. Oh, and we have a preliminary art of Juggernaut. So this reminds me of Marvel Beginnings with the illustration boards, and I really do love this kind of uh, parallel or insert. I thought these were all really, really cool. So I was actually hoping to get some of these, so that's really good. All right. Keep going. All right. Next pack. This is pack number six. Oh, we have a hollow foil. Uh, so let's see. So behind that we have cable gold sig. And cloak is uh, tier two. Uh, 984, 1499. Oh no, it's a tier one, sorry, because it is a variant cover, or what if. And behind that we have a Hope Summers, uh, I believe this is the base holofoil. Yeah, so this is the base. Uh, there is a checkered variant, or parallel, that is also unnumbered. 
but that's what the base hull full looks looks like. It looks pretty good, personally. I do like it. Uh, all right, on to the second half. Let's see what is in this pack. Uh, I don't know if the canvas galleries are sleeved. I don't remember. Uh, so we have Blade and Gold Sig Dormammu. That's really cool. Okay, so we are going to do this. Uh, so Blade is a tier, tier 2, 515 or 1499. Again, the dark work is very nice. Uh, and then next we have a Oh, oh, that's weird. Pretty sure, does it? I don't know if Ant Man is supposed to be like this, but it looks like it's missing one of the borders on the side. But this looks to be a at least a tier three, which it is. Tier three base. Uh, don't know. If, are any of the other ones like that? Mm. Oh, okay. Some of them do have the artwork sort of. Uh, cutting off, so I guess maybe that is the way that is designed. Uh, let's keep going. Sorry, this might be a long video unintentionally just because I'm going very slow with it just to see what we get. Okay, so we have Craven the Hunter. Uh, he is a tier 1, 776 of 1999 base. And we have uh, Blade Gold Sig. And we have, oh, our canvas is Colossus. These canvas cards are also really, really cool. Sorry, I'm gonna see saying that a lot, probably. But I do really like these canvas cards. Let's put that there. All right. There we go. Okay. So we have a Gambit uh, variant cover. Which is to which is to tier one, two seventy four, fourteen ninety nine. And behind that we have Gold Sig Havoc. Uh, tier one. And behind Gambit we have a purple epic purple Miles Morales. That's cool. Uh, if I were to get any parallels in the number of cards, it would be something from the Spider Man universe for sure. So that's 95 or 199. That's really cool. Epic purple. Okay. Oh, the last three packs already. I'm still just. Okay. So we have another preliminary art. So let's go preliminary art of Groot. Again, these are very cool. I do like these a lot. Uh, we have Squirrel Girl. Uh, Squirrel Girl is tier 1, 1506 to 1999. Squirrel Girl always has good art, I find. And then we have uh, the hit is, or the middle card is, uh, I guess, um, Star Lord uh, variant cover. This is tier 2. Alright. Oh, this feels a little thicker. I could be wrong. Well, it's only a bit more. So let's see. Okay, it just feels thicker, but it's not necessarily thicker. <laughs> okay, uh, we have Hulk. Uh, we have Gold Sig uh, Iceman. Uh, whenever I see openings, I always mistook uh, like this card for uh, Silver Surfer and Galactus until I look closer. Uh, he is also tier one. And Hulk is uh, tier 2, 883 to 1499 base. And then we have another hollow foil of Ant Man this time. Again, this is just the base hollow foil. Hollow foil is still very cool. And our last pack. Hmm, this feels, feels like there's something in here. Don't know what. Oh, I think it is a preserved amber. Uh, okay, so let's check out the last card. It is uh, Death Bird, Gold Sig, uh, Tier One, and 
Okay. It is... Oh, Dark Phoenix, number to 50. So that's really cool. So these are the, I guess in a way you can call them base uh, preserved ambers. Uh, there's orange, is it orange? Or red, that's number to 15. So that's really cool. That's a good character as well. Let's put her there. And last card is Electra, which is a variant cover. And it's numbered 1472 of 1499, so that's tier 1. So, let's go over. So our two uh, main hits of the box is the Dark Phoenix Preserved Amber and the Dormammu Metallurgy. Both really cool. Both, uh, I guess, fiery red to match the color of the box. Uh, we have our two hollow foils, uh, Hope Simmers and Ant-Man, and our uh, Battle Spectrum. I know some people have been saying Battle Spectra just because that's what it was called in the last set of Doctor Strange vs. Dormammu. Our canvas of Colossus. And our two epic purples of Miles Morales and Cable. And, uh, and our preliminary arts of Juggernaut and Groot. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, again, I can only really get one box because the price for this is quite insane compared to what it used to be two years ago. Uh, I recall 2020 Marvel Masterpieces. I think that was the Dave Palumbo set. It was only like 375 after tax. So this is a big jump up. And even then, uh, if I'm honest, it is a little more watered down than the 2020 set because the 2020 set uh, you are guaranteed a sketch for every box this one you're not uh, I don't know what the exact arts are but to me it's still cool because it's something from my childhood uh, the very first Marvel Masterpieces set I've ever collected and bought was back in 94 and that's sort of what got me into this hobby and then I got out of it for a very long time until I think maybe the last I want to say like four or five years and I'm actually very happy for getting back into it uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one